Pempo 2.9 has arrived and it's time to review what's new. This one's all about better token management, smart usability updates, and quality of life changes that you actually notice. So let's dive in. All right, this one's for all the people who have been begging for proper control over typography. So Pempot just dropped its first ever typography tokens. Now you can define font sizes directly in the design tokens panels, as you can see here. No more hunting through random layers or pixel values. Set your sizes once and reuse them everywhere. And font family tokens, they are next on the roadmap. So yeah, it's happening. And also multi-file token import. You can now upload a thick file, as you can see, with multiple tokens files and Pempot handles the rest. It's clean, it's quick, it's exactly what the sign system people have been asking for. Pempot 2.9 release brings a bunch of small UX wins that seriously level up the day to day. So, we've got a new comment indicator, as you can see here, that shows you straight in the design workspace where the combo is happening. So, no more guessing, no more click hunting, just a small visual cue where feedback lives simple and effective. Also, dashboard sidebar has been refreshed. It's been reorganized, now makes more sense. You'll find what you need more easily with a clear distinction between file, projects, and source assets. Text resizing has been improved too. Feels smoother, more responsive, and less janky. Now it's more intuitive thanks to the improvement in how it works. So if we click here and the new double click interactions to adjust the width or height of text areas also make, you know, working with text feel more fluid. Combine that with a bunch of background performance upgrades and bug fixes and the whole apps just running clear. If you haven't opened Pempot in a while, uh, now it's the time. Typography tokens, better token import, clearer UI, smoother interactions, it's all here. So if you got thoughts or feedback or bugs, drop them in the comments below. And as always, click the subscribe button, hit the bell, and you know, if you love open source tools, that actually listen to users stick around. See you in the next video. Take care.